Hi everyone, this is Bob with CellTechProductions.com with another Logic Pro 10 tutorial. In this video, we're going to take a look at creating a sidechain pumping effect. So let's get started. What I have here is a mix that I'm producing that I want to create some variations between the choruses. In the last chorus, I'm adding a synth string part that will take us into the outro. And I want this to have that pumping effect. Now this is a very common effect that you'll hear on synth strings and pads in EDM or pop music. Now generally, this effect pumps with the rhythm of a four and a floor kick. Since this song uses a different groove, I'm gonna create that four on the floor trigger track now. So let me just add a new software instrument track. And I'm gonna go over here and select the drum kit designer. And it really doesn't matter which drum kit I pick. I'm just gonna use the default here. Close this down, because I just want the, um, the kick in here. We're gonna rename this side chain trigger. And with my pencil tool, I'm gonna create one measure. Now I'm gonna double click here and open up the piano roll. And again, with my pencil tool, I'm going to come down here to the kick, which is right here. I'll use that C1 right there. And I'm going to put one, two, three, four. One measure on every beat. That sounds like this. Now on this track, I want to loop this for the rest of my song here. And here's what we have. And you can see it just loops. Now, since my groove really doesn't have a four on the floor kick, what I want to do with this is just come over here to the output and change that from the stereo out to no output. You can see the signal, but it's not making any sound, and that's what I want. This is just a trigger track to activate the compressor. Now I'm going to come up here to my pad, and I'm going to add a compressor. This is Logic's stock compressor. And what I'm going to do is just put the ratio all the way up, the attack all the way down, fastest attack, fastest release, and I don't want the auto gain on. And now I now just pull down the threshold to get the effect that I want. So let me play this, just this pad for you without the effect. Here it is. So what I have here in this breakdown, that pad has a filter on it, and I'm just opening up the cutoff for these two measures, and then when I get to this measure here to start the chorus, that's when I want this pumping to start. So that's why I put this trigger track right here at the start of measure 88. So again, here it is without the effect. So when the filter opens up all the way, that's when I want the pumping to start. So what I need to do now is go over here to the side chain input, and I wanna come down here to the SC trigger that I just created. And now that's gonna be the side chain input. So the only time this compressor is gonna activate is when that kick hits, and that's the one you're not even hearing. But you'll hear it uh, activate on this compressor. So here we go. Now I'm just gonna take the threshold and pull it down and you'll hear it starting to work. This is without it. Back on. So here's what I have in the mix. Let's say that I wanted this to start pumping right here on 86. All I have to do is just move this trigger track wherever I want it to start pumping. And the same thing, I could stop it. So if I wanted it to stop right here, I just adjust this trigger track. So watch what happens now. Let me solo it up. Now 
that'll stop here. So that's pretty cool. Wherever you put the trigger track is where it's going to uh, have the pumping effect. So there you go, guys. A couple of ideas for you on creating a pumping effect in Logic. Looking forward to your comments and questions below. And make sure you hit that bell icon and you'll get notified when I post the next video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.